Cowboy quarterback and Hall of Famer and our own A-Crew analyst, Troy Aikman, is calling that game along with Joe Buck. Thanks for joining us, Troy. You expect the you Cowboys? <laughs> you expect the Cowboys <laughs> to Troy. right back here? It's all I, about timing. I would expect <laughs> that, yay, yeah, our timing's a little off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would expect Dallas to, to bounce back this week, Kurt. I think if you look at what they've been able to do here at home, you know, they're averaging 24 points a game, and they're 7-0 and when they score 20 points in a ball game, and that may be required against this Tampa Bay offense that's obviously capable of scoring a lot of points themselves. But the Cowboys have had problems scoring in the red zone. They've had too many negative plays. They've had too many sacks, too many penalties, and quite frankly, here in the last few weeks, too many turnovers, and that's going to that's gonna have to be corrected not only today, but also going forward, you know, once they get into the postseason. Ooh, postseason, that's interesting. I, obviously, they're going to wrap up the NFC East, Troy. But I, I, for the like of me, was startled when the other day Ezekiel Elliott, the running back, said, well, losing to the Colts is, was a wake-up call. It was good for us. And I got to thinking about that quote, and I said, you got three games remaining in the season, and you need to lose to be to be awoken to the fact that you need to win these games. You were on a roll, playing great offense or better offense, and you were getting the ball to Amari Cooper. What the heck happened to him in in uh, in Indianapolis? He was a jo- a no show. And then to make that comment about we need to lose to wake up call. Super Bowl teams don't need a wake up call. They've already awoken and they're excited about finishing out the season and winning into the playoffs. They won't have to worry about a wake up call as much as. Tampa turns the ball over. They're going to have, Cowboys are going to have plenty of opportunities, you know. But the, I look at the Cowboys though right now, and as much as I like Prescott, you know, at times he is inconsistent as far as his accuracies. And I, I want to ask Troy this, you know, Troy, is accuracy is it something that you can, you know, get better with repetition, or or is it just something you either have it or you don't? Because I know you were one of the most accurate pla- passers around. And he didn't have the checkdowns, Terry, that yeah. a lot of these quarterbacks have. Can, can you improve accuracy? Well, Jimmy, I, you know, I, I believe you either have it or you don't. I, I do I think that you can do some things within your footwork in order to improve your accuracy. But we see a lot of guys, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre over the years, you know, guys who are off balance and are still able to put the ball where they want to. I, I think as it relates to Dak Prescott, in addition, he, he's always going to have some issues, relatively speaking, with accuracy. But the biggest thing that I see with him right now is there's not a lot of anticipation in terms of getting the ball out. And if you get the ball out sooner, then you can be a little bit more inaccurate with some of those throws because the ball is going to be on the receivers a little bit sooner and they can make those adjustments. So I think this is still a bit of a work in progress for him. But, uh, you know, we'll see how he's able to finish up this season. And they're going to need him to play his best football uh, you know, here going forward for sure. I want to agree with Troy on that quickly and just add that you, a great quarterback doesn't miss players that are wide open. We've seen far too many players that are wide open and Prescott misses them. A lot of times take a lot less air out of the ball and drill it to at least make the completion. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Troy. Have a great call today.